All right, everybody, for this video, I wanted to go ahead and talk about this play that occurred right before the Chiefs kicked a field goal before the end of the first half of the AFC Championship game against the Baltimore Ravens. And the reason that I'm talking about this play in particular and really wanting to break it down is I'm going to simply put it this way. It's a horrible defensive rep by the Baltimore Ravens. There's no, there's no way of sugarcoating it. It is not a good defensive rep. Now, either the players, they messed up and they didn't realize the alignment that the Chiefs were giving them and didn't adjust accordingly, or Mike McDonald, when he called it, he called it to the wrong side. Maybe the players, not all the players got the correct call. Whatever it is, it's just not, to me, a great play call, and it's a horrible rep. And let me go ahead and show you why I'm saying what I am. Let's run the play. You can see right here, it's an easy throw to Travis Kelsey, who gets an easy eight yards down the field. And let me go ahead and go back. Remember, this was the third and 24. It was third and 24. The Chiefs are kind of on the edge of field goal range, so any extra yards would help them out. So I get what the Ravens are trying to do here. They're sending a zone blitz. They're trying to get to Patrick Mahomes so that when they throw this ball, it, it, that it that they can get to Patrick Mahomes and keep the keep the Chiefs out of any potential field goal range. The problem here is with this zone blitz, and it's an overload blitz of the Chiefs' left side by the Ravens, no one replaces really well, and there's just so much space for Kelsey that he's able to get those eight yards, get, make it become a 52-yard field goal. And in fact, in the broadcast, you would hear Tony Romo say that he really wasn't a big fan of the play call by the Ravens because it gave up way too much easy yardage to, to allow the Chiefs to get into field goal range. So let's go ahead. Let's talk about what's happened on this play. All right, if we go back to the start of the sideline view on this play, you can see the Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, he is motioning in and back, and then he's going to line up to the right of Patrick Mahomes. You've also got Patrick Mahomes walking up. Looks like he's telling his line which way he would like them to slide for pass pro because what you're seeing being run here by the Chiefs is just stick. Right, we got backside slant with the swing route by Clyde Edwards Hilaire. We're gonna have stick right here by Kelsey. Oh, there's scaling. He's gonna run kind of a stick right there. Really, he's just gonna kind of sit right here. And then I don't know if Watson's supposed to go vertical clear out or or what, but it, he just kind of runs up and blocks Stevens because I think the pass happens so quickly. So it's just stick. That's all it is. It's not a complicated pass pass play where Travis Kelsey's doing a lot of fancy stuff. And right now, I like the alignment of the Ravens because here you've got three potential receivers for the Kansas City Chiefs. You've got three defenders over those three potential receivers for the Baltimore Ravens. So it's a really, they're matching and they're able, they can match up and cover uh, those three. Now, let's go forward in the play. And you saw that Hamilton was kind of walking board, back and forth, trying to sell, am I coming, am I not? Let me rewind just a little bit here, just before that. And I want you to look at the eyes of one Patrick Mahomes. Look where his eyes are. He's looking out. He's looking towards Hamilton. He's seeing if Hamilton's coming. So this is kind of telling him, hey, if Hamilton, let me run the play. So Hamilton walks up. If Hamilton comes, then I know that I'm going to throw the ball to Kelsey because Kelsey's running the stick route. If he drops, then I'll work to the backside slant because I won't have my receiver because Hamilton's dropping and he's basically walling off, basically taking that away. Hamilton comes, easy throw out, easy catch, okay? So let's talk about what the Ravens are doing on this play. To me, it looks like the Ravens are doing kind of a two-shell look with a rotation to one high with basically a three-deep, three-under look. We're going to have Jadavian Clowney working uh, hook to curl. We're going to have Kyle Van Noy trying to run hook in the middle to the middle of the field. Now, because neither Williams or Stevens down here at the bottom actually move pre-snap or really even post-snap i don't know who's supposed to have the deep third i don't know who's supposed to be hooked to curl typically you would probably want your corner to just be the one the deep third have safety rotate down to hook to curl so we'll just do it like that i don't again i don't know because neither of them really move williams kind of slightly steps up so probably he's supposed to be the one he reacts the fastest to kelsey so he might be the one who's hooked to curl so three deep three under it's not a terrible play call don't get me wrong you're basically sending an overload blitz. I don't necessarily hate the play call. I hate the side that it's being run. This is my problem because you're asking Kyle Van Noy right here to run all the way over to try and help wall off, try and get in the way, try to help cover against Travis Kelsey, who, by the way, remember, he's not running right here to where 
it's right where near where Van Noy is. He's running right here away from where Van Noy is. So again, no one's really replacing the blitz, and that's why you have such an easy throw. That's why I'm running it again. See how easy this is? Kyle Van Noy has no chance. This play needs to be flipped. And that's why I'm saying either the players didn't adjust. Because remember, again, when we snapped the ball, I had said, hey, you had 3v3 earlier. Now it's only 3v2. To me, because we've got the three receiver side, and we've got to be alert for any cut. Alert cut by a slot receiver. We should be realistically flipping who is coming on this zone blitz. To me, instead, what I would want him if I was the defensive coordinator. I'm just letting you know. If I was the defensive coordinator, if I was calling this, I would want my defensive players to know, hey, there's three receivers. And instead, you have, excuse me, we're going to use the proper color for the defense today. Rotation back. I want Hamilton to drop hook to curl because he is closer to those three receivers. I would have Roquan Smith dropping hook, and Roquan Smith can help on. Travis Kelsey, again, because he's closer. He's yards closer than where Van Noy is. You then send blitz by Jadavian Clowney, blitz by Van Noy, blitz, blitz again still by Queen, and Queen gets there. He's just a slight, it just because, because Kelsey's so wide open, Patrick Mahomes doesn't have to hold the ball that long, and that's why he's able to get the ball out quickly. Okay? You can still bring your zone blitz, but instead, now you still have your three deep, three under, but you're adjusted for the three receiver side. And that's that's what I want to kind of share with you as fans is seeing that. And that's why I say this is just not a – this is a horrendous defensive rep because this is a game-changing rep. You basically gave up eight yards. It allowed the Chiefs to have a 52-yard field goal. That made it a two-score game. It's been a real defensive struggle all game. Offenses aren't putting up points. A two-score game can be big at that moment. So. For me, this play should have been flipped. I would have wanted my defensive players to flip it, to adjust. Hey, it's a three-by-one look. We got three receivers at the bottom. We got one receiver at top. I don't need to have that many many guys to, my, to that side dropping. I need to adjust a little bit more and match the coverage that I'm going to have. And I would want Roquan Smith, or let's say that it had been three receivers up top and Van Noy was dropping. I would want them to shift slightly over to help against the three receivers to help wall off any potential vertical go by Travis Kelsey on this play or anything like that. But again, that's not what happened here. And that's why I say either the players didn't adjust properly or Mike McDonald, when he called it, didn't want them to adjust. But for whatever reason, when you run the play, and we'll just run it again so you can remember, no one replaces. It's way too easy. You get nice, good yards, gets into field goal range. And that could be the difference. And you, when you watch the end zone view, watch how fast Queen is getting here. Queen all, is so fast. But look, Mahomes knows, hey, if Hamilton's coming, I'm just going to replace him with that throw to Kelsey. And that's what he does. So, again, for you Raven fans, I'm just letting you guys know this is what I'm seeing. This is why I want to talk about this play. If you're a young defensive back, young defensive player, kind of take what I'm talking about here to heart as well and deploy it into your own game. Uh, if you need to, go talk to your coach, ask questions about what they would like you to do here. Am I wrong? I could be wrong. But based on my years of experience, this is how, what I would like. Most defensive coaches would probably not want to have the guy trying to get over to the number three receiver being on the opposite side of the ball. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Make sure to leave a like. Like I said, this was a big play. This led to a. This basically allowed the Chiefs to get in the field goal range. They kicked it, and they may, they basically then had the Ravens be two scores behind for the whole second half, and the and the Ravens were chasing to get those two scores. So, just a big moment, and hopefully, I explained well enough to you guys why it is that I say this is a horrible defensive rep uh, for the Ravens. If you're enjoying this type of content, please make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Uh, but real quick. We will be doing more videos from the AFC and NFC, NFC Championship games for the next week and a half as we get ready for Super Bowl Sunday. Look forward to it. We'll see you next time, though. Have a good one. I want to give a shout out to all of our Booster members that are supporting the channel. If you wish to have your name in a video just like this, please make sure to join at the link down below at the Booster member or above. On the next screen, there will be another recommended video. It will be a breakdown video, most likely. Check it out.
see what you think of it. Some of them might be commentary, but most of my videos are breakdowns. We'll see you later, though, and have a good one.